Hello, we're here today to learn how to make the right comb, sometimes called the round comb. This is our fitting, as you can see. It has a larger diameter on the bottom and a smaller diameter on the top. And we have fastened it along this edge with two rivets at convenient spacing. Now, the cone has a larger diameter of 80mm on the bottom and a smaller diameter of 40mm on the top and the height of the fitting is also 40mm. So, let's get started and learn how to make this fitting. First of all, we need to make a right angle. So we've got our right angle, we set our dividers up to 40mm, this will give us our 80mm diameter and we just put that in there. We divide this up in the usual way. And because our divider is set up at 40mm and the height of our fitting is 40mm, we just put a scratch in there. Where our second diameter is going, so we're just drawing another right angle. And set our dividers up to 20mm, which would give us our 40mm diameter at the top. We put that in there. Now we need to form an apex, and to do that, we join the outside edges of our semicircles to our centre line. This has been our centre line. Like that. Now, take our dividers, we open them up to the larger diameter from the apex, like this, and scratch the line in. And we do the same for our smaller diameter, and we scratch that in. Now we need to do the divisions and to do that we take this measurement here. We just check that. You see that's perfect. And we put that along the outside edge here. Now to make a half pattern we would put in six divisions from here around six times and for a full pattern which is what we're making we put that in 12 times, and so let's mark those in. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Now we're going to put an extra division in and this is just solely for lap. So we just put one more in, 13. <clears throat> and we join the last two up to the apex. So we just join them into there. That. And that is our 
pattern all we need to do now is cut it out so we would cut this out around here to there and from here to there and along here and up here after we've cut our template out we can place that now on a piece of sheet metal draw around it again cut that out put that through our slip rollers and this would then be the end product as you can see perfect right comb reducer thank you very much for watching my video and please remember to subscribe to my channel and wait for the next exciting episode thank you very much and goodbye